Alan, the code of silence usually refers to officers not wanting to report other officers. But there is another silence, and it's killing officers. Tonight, the family of a CPD officer breaks that silence to talk about suicide prevention. Stuff like that don't have to be. It's, it's so avoidable. In September, Regine Perpilla killed herself. She was a 26-year veteran Chicago police officer who used her own service weapon. Perpilla's mother and brother spoke with ABC7 in hopes of helping other officers and their families. And she went to work, and I called her to check. She didn't answer. To kill herself, I don't know why. And I miss her so much. She probably cried all the way to work that morning. You know, I'm sure she cried, cried tremendously. Her family says Perpia suffered with depression and that some at CPD knew of her struggles, previous suicide attempt, and recent hospitalizations. The police department should never put it back on duty that quick. It's painful for me also. Superintendent Eddie Johnson tells us he has learned there may have been some at CPD trying to protect Perpia's job by not saying anything about her struggles. And Perpia herself didn't ask for extra help. Because I just think that we missed something that we could have done to help prevent it. And I'm sorry that we, that we failed. The head of CPD says he thinks of Perpigia almost every day. They worked together years ago. I'm telling you, she was, she was just a gem to work with. She became the third CPD officer to kill themselves over just a few weeks earlier this year. I feel like we failed all these officers. The superintendent wants to do more. Starting next year, he will assign therapists to each CPD district and unit. You have to normalize cops being able to ask for help. We have to take that stigma away. He says getting help takes courage and for the first time shares that he got help years ago. And I reached out late at night one night and, and called EAP, you know, and, and talked to somebody for an hour or so. So it does work, but you have to make that first step and be willing to put yourself out there like that. Much of Roland Perpignan's pain is trying to grasp that his sister felt she had to suffer in silence. Depression is a disease, it's nothing to be ashamed of, it's nothing to hide. It's a disease like blood pressure and diabetes and cancer, and, and if you don't take care of it, it'll kill you. Everything I ask, she said, Mama, I'm, I'm gonna do it. And she did it for me. And I miss her so much. The superintendent wants to emphasize to all CPD officers, no one gets fired for getting help. And actually, a new law protects officers getting mental health treatment from losing their FOID card. And after Perpignan's death, the superintendent began sending all officers involved in a traumatic incident to be evaluated. He used to only send the officer directly involved. Now, we have several resources for officers and anyone who might be having suicidal thoughts on our website. The city is actually expanding a mental health helpline starting on January. And while those closest to the officer or the individual may not actually know the depth of someone's despair because sometimes they do hide it, the superintendent and certainly the family of Regime Perpignan hope that that individual gets the help they need and deserve. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.